Hi, my name is Daniel Joey Albright. I'm probably the most known unknown actor in South Korea. Um, I've been in a bunch of stuff in the Korean movie and drama industry here. I was in like uh, the movie Default and uh, I've done a lot of dramas, Mr. Sunshine, Yo Gaksuka, a bunch of different things. My goal with this interview today is to hopefully break the foreign standard and inspire people to train and to actually try to get into the industry. You look really familiar. I'm pretty sure I've seen you somewhere. I've kind of stayed hidden, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm probably one of the most like working actors mm -hmm. for uh, foreigners in Korea. Dramas, movies, mm -hmm. commercials, Hong Boy Hong Sang promotional videos, mm -hmm. a lot of things, <laughs> random Korean. stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you actually speak Korean? I actually went to four years of university here. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to uh, oh. Goryeo Day. Oh. And I also went to like mm -hmm. Hak I went to level four. Mm -hmm. And then in university, I had to study to level six to graduate. Oh. So uh, I've been here for 10 years. Well, uh, do you mainly speak English in your roles? A lot of when I first started out was all English, always English. And mm -hmm. I would get like a couple one liners. Like uh, I did like some really old drama, mm -hmm. and my one liner was. So I still study yeah. Korean, but I don't oh. study acting in Korean. So right now, how many foreign actors do you think are there in the Korean movie industry? In my opinion here, it's very difficult to say how many actors because it would be throwing a lot of people under the bus. If people who actually train um, that I know of are probably about five people. Yeah, I self-train and anytime I'm in the States, I train. And whenever my acting coach comes here, I train. And if you look at my Instagram, Every day I post that I have a day off, I'm in a cafe practicing scripts, reading books, doing script analysis, working on editing my profile, downloading my videos, re-watching them, learning from my mistakes, asking for feedback from LA. Like that's, that's what an actor is. So what's the prevailing perception of foreign actors in the Korean movie industry? The perception of foreigners here is that a majority of them are just teachers pulled off the street or students or you know illegal workers or whatever you want to you know categorize them as and that uh, they're they're not trained they're not trained at all and they're kind of looked down upon and that you you hear directors like oh, yeah, yeah. and before you even enter the audition room they get from agencies a comp card with photos name height nationality and oh. that's it it doesn't say anything about acting experience so you'll, the director will go, okay, best image, because that's what they're looking at. They go, mm, I'll take this guy, this guy, this guy, and they'll bring him in for an audition. And amongst those three, they'll choose the one that's not the worst. Okay, so if you were to ask most Koreans, mm -hmm. um, frankly speaking, one of the perceptions that we have of foreign actors is that you guys are not great actors, and many of them seem even cringeworthy. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about this perception? Do you agree to it? It's 100% accurate. 100% oh. accurate. And I, it's sad for me to say that. I can see how there are a lot of miscastings that, ha miscastings that happen. And whenever they're cast, um, you'll notice that it's just image based. You start with image and then some people will be like, oh, they lie about their ability. And then, the, then whenever they get on set, it's like, uh, mm -hmm. well, we just got to kind of work with it. We don't have a choice. So I can see how people would see it was cringeworthy. And I agree to a certain extent, yes. And how much demand is there um, in the Korean movie industry for non-Koreans? If you think about like any war movie almost mm -hmm. that has come out in recent years, the well, majority of it is like a Korean historical movie. You see all of these different things like, uh, what is it? Operation Chrome, right? Incheon Sangi Oh, yeah. Prime example. Mm -hmm. There is a huge demand uh, and it's picking up and it's only becoming more and more relevant. In dramas, it's still very limited, but they are trying to be more inclusive. And, you know, it just depends on how the, the writer can work a foreigner in there, you know, mm -hmm. which is good. So I think the demand has picked up a lot. And so that's why you see a lot of new faces and up and comers and stuff like that. Why do you think the demand is increasing these days? Well, I think because people are realizing that there's a global market. And for example, like uh, big brands have come here, Netflix, Warner Brothers, um, many, many, you know, Western production companies are realizing it's cheaper to film here. Uh -huh. And so like uh, Avengers was shot here. 
So, how tough is it to break into the Korean movie industry as a foreign actor? Not hard at all. Oh, really? Just go on Craigslist and look for, you know, under TV jobs mm -hmm. and boom, there's a whole, there's always castings there. There's always castings on uh, other SNS platforms as well. The problem is it's become so easy that the industry has become saturated with students and teachers and a lot of illegal people, which is a different subject. Carson Allen. A long time no see. Give us a hug. It's good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. You ready for the audition? Could you briefly introduce yourself, please? Um, my name is Carson mm -hmm. Allen, and I'm from the U.S. and I currently mm -hmm. work in Korea as an actress. How do you describe the Korean movie industry for a foreign actress? Um, I definitely would say it's a lot tougher, in my mm. opinion. And that might okay. be biased, that might be okay. biased. But so, um, mm. typically for females, there's a lot less roles. and a, I mean like a lot less roles. When you think of like foreign roles in Korean movies, typically there's like soldiers, police officers, businessmen, mafia, all you right. know, the list goes on. And those are all male only roles. Yeah. So are there other differences? in the acting career? I would also say that I would, I think that the beauty standards are a little bit more harsh than for male actors. You're either beautiful or you're not beautiful type of st st thing going on. So mm -hmm. typically if you're not a pretty girl, it's pretty hard to get casted for things, especially because the female roles tend to be girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, Russian prostitute, right. Russian girl in the club. And those roles in, you know, the casting director's mind is for a beautiful woman only. So what kind of roles do you usually mostly get offered? I usually get offered yeah. Russian roles. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, actually more than I'd say half of my roles have all been Russian roles. So I actually like have um, like a separate folder of photos on my computer. I just like have it as like Russian sexy. That's just like the, <laughs> and I just have my folders in there that, oh, this I could pass as a Russian in this photo. Oh, because though typically that's the number one role for females is a Russian type role. Why do you think that is? Uh, I think just because for the for a long time in Korea there was like a history of a lot of Russian you know women and Russian people in Korea, so I just think whenever they write stories with the mafia, it's always Russian mafia. If they write a story that involves drugs and prostitutes, it's Russian prostitutes. So how do you feel about this standard of casting for foreign actresses in Korea? Oh, uh, it's kind of disappointing. I really I really hope that someday we can move away from looks and beauty and move more towards maybe talent and experience and um, uh, I've lost a lot of weight recently but about a year ago I had a meeting with a casting director and she was actually a female herself and I was really surprised with what she had told me. Um, I had a meeting with her and after I did my monologue and showed her my profile and stuff she just sat there and then asked me one question and she said <laughs> And I was like, what? <gasps> Damn! <laughs> oh my god, like you and Joey. So what do you think needs to happen in order for a shift in the industry to take place? I definitely think that foreign actors need to kind of be respected more as actors. Because that's right now, I don't think a lot of like directors or people see us as real actors, you know, a lot because a lot of them that are casted are not actors. Um, so I think it would have to start with the foreigners making the change of acting, you know, a little bit more professional and, you know, training and acting and really being able to call themselves a professional. And then I think we'll get the respect. And after that, I think we'll be able to change the industry's idea of us. So when was the lowest point in your career that made you rethink about continuing being an actor? There were a lot. Mm. People don't realize that there is a, str a constant struggle um, for image. Am I, why am I not good enough? I was in an audition room um, in which they brought in three people. The two guys, we all acted out the same lines. 
um, I wasn't invited to this audition because I, I didn't fit the boyfriend image. And it was just a bunch oh. of skinny guys. And I was 108 kilograms. And I brought in my own portfolio with my experience. And I, I gave it to the director. And he goes, you're really experienced. And I go, yes, I'm, I'm a professional actor. The other two guys, you know, are like, great, nice guys, good looking guys. I've worked with them a lot. Really nice guys. But they fumbled through the lines a lot. I nailed the lines. The director goes, okay, okay. The indecision, they both got it. They messed up their lines. They couldn't. They couldn't go through it, and it was so disheartening. And I was like, oh "Why God. wasn't I chosen?" At the end of the day, it's about image. It's about no matter how good you think you are and how good you think you're doing, people perceive you in a different light. And it's like, well, they're just gonna pick my image. It doesn't matter as long as like, the lines out okay. What are some of the positive aspects of being a foreign actor in Korea? Well, if I went to the states, I would not have as many roles as I do now. Mm -hmm. I know I'm nowhere near state level. And so the positive thing is I get a lot of opportunities and a lot of chances. It doesn't matter about skin color. I mean, yes, I'm a white guy. And yes, there is some, you know, there is more white Caucasian roles written, but it's not for Americans. It's, it's just for anyone who's Caucasian or anyone African American. There, there is a story that they need to follow. So that's on them. So what's the biggest lesson that you've learned or insight that you've earned by being a foreign actor in Korea? So the biggest insight that I've learned is um, that you can't get discouraged just because you're not the right image. If you work hard, the doors will start opening up. Don't compare yourself to other people because what one person has going for them might just be image. Just stay focused and keep pushing forward and never get dis discouraged. So for me, that was the big thing.